children. How are all of you doing? I am Susan Antti again. Are you all ready for another lesson for Sunday School? Great. So before we begin, let us um, close our eyes, fold our hands and say a small prayer. Okay. Oh God, we thank you for bringing us together one more time to learn your word, to remember them and to be good children. We pray in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay. I can see all the nice smiling faces. I'm happy that all of you are here again. So remember last week you learned about baby Moses from Anjana Auntie, how baby Moses was protected by God from that cruel king uh, in Egypt. Today, we are going to learn about another baby boy whose name is Samuel. Okay, so before I tell you the story of Samuel, I want to ask you something, okay? How many of you pray in the morning and in the evening? Oh, good. All of you pray? Very nice. Even I pray. Okay? We all should pray whenever we have the time. Good job. Good job. Okay? So, praying is actually talking to God. So, when we pray, we pray all that we have in our mind, right? We pray, we thank God, then we uh, pray for what we need or to bless everybody, right? So that is actually talking to God, just like you talk to your parents. When we talk to God, it's called pray. And at that time, you know, while we concentrate in our prayer, we can also hear God talking to us. So, prayer is actually a tool or a medium to talk to God. What are the other mediums that we use to listen or um, pray to God? Let me share the first page of our lesson with you. Okay, there you can see. So one second. Okay, let me share the screen. So what do you see here? You see a little boy praying. Okay? So when we pray, we talk to God and he talks to us and that's how he leads us to be <coughs> a good child, to grow up like a good boy or a good girl. So just like praying what I said, there are other mediums also. So what do we see here? We see a Bible. Yes. So Bible is the word of God. So when we read the Bible and meditate on it, that's also the time or that's a way or a tool to talk to God or listen to his words. What's the next thing that you see? You see a monitor, or it's a TV, you can say it is. Well, why do we say that's another medium? Now, especially in this time of the year, like this time, is a, it's 
COVID time, like it is, there is a coronavirus everywhere. And that's why we cannot go out anywhere. We have to wear the mask. We have to wash the hands. So we cannot go out. So when we cannot go out, we cannot even go to church, right? And that's why we have this TV or the computer screen or the monitor that helps us to hear the word of God. Even I'm talking to you, even Sunday school is now uh, through this medium, right? Thank God for this medium. Then we also see a mobile or a phone. That is also, we can hear good music. We can um, go hear good messages. We can hear messages from different uh, Achins and Thirmanis all over the world now through all these mediums, right? Oh, very good. So today, you know, we are going to, um, or for the story, we are going to learn about Samuel, right? So let me stop sharing. Before we start the lesson, uh, before I tell you the story of um, Samuel, let me first go uh, to the verse for today. Okay? The memory verse for today from the Bible is, the Bible verse for today is from 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 9. And it says, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Can we repeat that once more? Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. What does it mean? It says that God, please speak. Your servant, that is you and me, that is I am listening. So speak, Lord, I am listening. And the objective or the aim of the lesson is be prepared to hear God's call. What is the objective or what do we learn from the lesson that we are learning today is that we have to be prepared to hear God's call. Okay, so now based on this verse and this objective or aim, let's listen to the story. Let's hear the story of Sam. So long ago in Israel, there lived a man called, by the name of Elkanah and his wife was Hannah. So what are their, what is this mama and dada's name? Mama is Hannah and the dad is Elkanah. Okay. They were, they lived, uh, you know, happily they were good people they they loved god a lot but they were sad about one thing you know what they did not have a baby sad right so hannah she went to church every day and prayed to God for a baby. She cried and prayed to God for a baby. And she made a promise to God that God, if you give me a baby boy, I shall give him back to you or dedicate him to do your services. So what was Hannah's promise to God? Hannah promised God, Hannah prayed, oh God, please give me a baby and I will give that baby back to you. I will see that the baby goes to, grows in the church and becomes, learns your word. Okay, so 
so and one day while hannah was praying the priest of that church his name was eli what was the name of the priest of the church eli so eli heard her and saw her coming every day to church and eli asked her um about her and you know when he like heard her please or her request you know he said god will bless you god will hear your prayers and eli you know just like eli said god will bless you and god will hear our prayers your prayers there is a nice small song um there is a nice small prayer in the evening prayer that we say every day so let me just share that uh, song with you it is in your textbook okay so let me share the screen and go to where that song is so that we can all sing together uh one second so this is the song okay so the song is in malayalam i'll sing it in malayalam and also in english okay so the malayalam you will understand the meaning prarthanaye kelkunnavene yajanaye nalgunnavene prarthana keti dasarude yajanaye nalgidaname so the meaning is in english it says thou who receive our prayers thou means god okay god who receives our prayers and god who grants our supplications or our request hear our prayers and grant our request in your mercy so god in his mercy hears our prayers and grants our request okay so let's sing that in english now thou who receive our prayers thou who grant supplications hear our prayers and atone granting request in mercy such a beautiful prayer right so next time today evening when you are praying remember this li these lines okay so it is in every day in our prayers we say this prayer let's do it once more prarthanaye kelkunnavene yajanaye nalgunnavene prarthana keti dasarude yajanaye nalgidaname in english thou who receive our prayers thou who grants applications hear our prayers and atone granting request in mercy so what did that prayer say that when we pray god hears and in his mercy he grants them to us and guess what god heard hannah's prayers and they were blessed with a baby boy hooray right happy yes so hannah was happy elkana was happy they were all happy with the baby boy moz uh, samuel right and you know what they named his named him they named him samuel and you know what it means it means asked from god or in hebrew it also means god hears so what is the meaning of the name samuel asked from god hana asked god right so it is asked from god it also means in hebrew god hears so did you all get the meaning of the name samuel good so they were happy and samuel was with his parents they were all happy family now 
But remember, Hannah had made a promise while praying to God. What was the promise? Yes. The promise was, God, I will give the baby back to you. So, Samuel's parents, Elkanah and Hannah, they told Samuel, now that you are like around, you know, your age, like five or six, like how big you are, all of you are, at that time, Hannah told Samuel, her son, that now it is time for us to take you to church and you will grow there, you will live there uh, with the priest and the people in the church. So they went to church and um, Samuel started living in the church with the priest Eli. So he was growing up there. So while one day he was sleeping in his room, he heard somebody calling him. He heard the sound, Samuel, Samuel. He got up, he ran to the priest Eli and said, Master, did you call me? I heard my name, Samuel, Samuel. So Eli said, no dear, I did not call you. Go back to sleep. So Samuel went back to sleep. Again, he heard someone calling, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Master, did you call me? Eli said, no, my dear. Say your prayers and go back to sleep. So Samuel listened to Eli and went back to sleep again. Third time, again he heard the sound. Samuel, Samuel. So Samuel got up, went running to Eli and said, Master, did you call me? Now Eli realized that actually it is God calling Samuel. So Eli told Samuel, Samuel, next time you hear your name being called, you should reply like this. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. What should Samuel's reply be when he hears the call? Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. So Samuel said, okay, Eli, and he went back to sleep. And as he was sleeping, he heard the sound again. Samuel, Samuel. He got up immediately and said, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So, who was it that was calling Samuel? Correct. God was calling Samuel. And in prayer, in his, um, while Samuel was sleeping, God was talking to Samuel. And Samuel understood that it is God who is calling him. And he's replied to God, just like Eli told him. And Samuel was obedient to God's call and followed his commands. God raised him to great positions. He became the prophet of Israel. 
and you know he was the last and the best one of the best judges of israel so when we listen to god's word god will help us to be good children like samuel this lesson also tells us that samuel actually was who guided him or who taught him who uh, made him who led him it was eli the priest at church it was his parents at home right so we also when we grow or when we are little for like for you and for me who helps us to be good people who helps us to listen to god's word and be good children at home it is our parents our grandparents our uncles our aunts right or all any of our elders at school it is our teachers at church it is our priest our thirmenes also our sunday school teachers right good so are you ready now for the question and answers of this lesson did you pay attention to the story let us see okay okay so now i'm going to ask you a few questions do you remember the names of the parents of samuel what was the mom's name and what was the dad's name good job hannah was the mom and elkana was the dad good what is the meaning of the name samuel good asked from god or god hears good job who was actually calling samuel while he was sleeping who was actually calling samuel good it was god who was actually calling samuel so what was samuel's reply when god called him good job you were paying attention speak lord your servant is listening very good so now last question okay what will be your answer when god calls you what will be your answer good your answer will be speak lord i am listening good job okay um now just like uh this um do you remember the bible verse and the aim of the lesson now you will understand it very clearly what was our bible verse 1 samuel what is the reference do you remember who remembers 1 samuel chapter 3 verse 9 speak lord for your servant is listening very good and what was the aim or the objective of the lesson be prepared to hear god's call so you should all learn that verse by heart 1 samuel chapter 3 verse 9 just say it once more last time okay repeat after me speak lord 
Your servant is listening. Very good. Now, for this verse, we have, and for the, our story today, we have a very special song. Okay? I'll share the words with you first. And then we can sing it. Okay? Let me share the uh, words with you. Share screen. Share. Okay. So the words of the song go like this. When he calls me, I will answer. Can you repeat? When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, listening for my name. Okay, so let's sing this. So the first line we say three times. Then we say the second line. Then we sing the third line three times. And then the last line. Okay, it's a very easy, simple song. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Did you like it? Good. So let's sing together. You can stand up where you are. Okay? So stand up in your, from, get up from your chair and stand up and let's sing together. Okay? You can clap your hands or uh, do actions. Okay? Okay. Let's sing together. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Good job. Let me stop sharing. Okay, did you all like the song? So, Please listen to hear your name. God calls you by, by your name. Like he calls Samuel by his name, right? So God knows each of our names. He'll call me by the name Susan. He'll call you by your name. Our God is so good and so mighty, right? He knows each of our names. Wow. So let's um, sing that song once more. Okay. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Good. So, um, to end, I, we have another small thread, okay? Uh, that's also given in your lesson. Let's go to that last uh, prayer for today. It's a very nice prayer. So I'm going to screen, uh, share screen again to the lesson. So this is our prayer for today, okay? Everybody um, repeat this prayer, okay? Let us pray. 
Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee, O Creator. Glory be to thee, O Christ, our King, who does pity sinners, thy servants, Barakimor. Okay. So that was the lesson for today. Thank you. See you all next week. Okay. Till then, be safe, be happy. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah.